welcome back to the Burt Reynolds Memorial Prison. Oh, that makes me sad every time I, I say that. It's, it's a I sad know. time. Maybe we'll have to change it at some point in the future. But uh, welcome back to, to Prison Architect. Yes. Co-op Prison Architect, I should say. I'm joined again by Kitch, yep. who is... Um, Currently in the process of making making a, a torture zone, basically. Yep, torture zone. Now I'm you've got to make it even worse. Yeah, you've got some ideas. You, you're going to lay have. those down today. But we we had a thought together as well, which is that we're gonna we're gonna deploy this area as protected custody only. Mm. Okay. And then we're we're gonna pick and choose the people who come in here, basically. So all the guys you've got sleeping in these these beds right now, I'm I'm gonna make them protective custody. Can you um? Out of interest, if you select a prisoner, can you make them protective custody yourself? Um, select old uh, Matt, Matt, well, who have you got down here? Lee bar Barcode? No, I, I don't think I can. I mean, oh my god, now Batty. Choose now Batty. Now Batty, okay, now Batty. Richard, Richard now Batty. Um, oh, yes, I can. I can change him to protective custody. Yeah. There we go, perfect. Okay, so that's what you need to do now. So basically, your, your area is deployed as protective custody. You're going to be able to pick and choose the prisoners you want to go in there. Uh, it means you can give them their own, you know, their own shit to do in this bottom area, and nobody else is going to come in and do it. Um, so have have fun with that, basically. I'm going to get rid of this top door as well that you, you've got up here. Okay. While, while I think about it. Okay, there we go. Right, I'm going to unpause the game as well, so you better start... If, if you Sorry, want these three I'm prisoners, you've, you've, you see, I've paused it again. Uh, you see these three prisoners up here? Just, oh, just yeah. here. You've got hail. Um, yeah, if you want those guys to stay, you're going to have to make them take to custody as well. Um, protective. And you got it? You got it? Protective. Yep. Nice. Okay, so how's everybody doing today? Not you, Kitch. Nobody cares. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I, I want to say, I mean, we did it before, but I want to say thanks to all the new people watching, mm. first of all. It's it's nice to see, you know, some new faces and stuff in. We've had a few new people pop by Discord as well, which has been a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, oh, my Dis God, my Discord four is the people. place to be. Holy crap. Um. Yeah. They're 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 all coming in to demolish your your crap, and also I just put down uh, some walls, so um, just just wait for those to go in. Uh, yeah, it's it's been really good, like having having new people watching and, and enjoying the series and stuff. We're we're trying our best to be as entertaining as possible. Hmm. I don't know if it works, but uh, we'll we'll keep trying. Anyway, you know, uh, that's that's the best that we can offer, really. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I I. Personally, I think this co-op is like an amazing addition to this game. Oh yes! Like uh, I've really, really enjoyed this whole process of being able to play one of my favourite games with one of my one of my favourite people. Um, who, just, who, who's yeah, that? Then? I, that's, that's not me. Uh, it's Hacker T Dog. I don't know if you've heard of him. <gasps> Hacker T I've been, Dog. You're right, yeah, cocker. I've been playing. <laughs> you're right, cocker. I've been playing some uh, playing some Prison Architect with him. I know how much you love him. You see, so oh, I do. Uh, I do it's a bit like that Hacker time when I I met. Tom from the Yogg's cast. I told you about that. Um, um, anyway. I, I, I think it's come up in <laughs> passing. Yeah, it might have come up in these videos already as well. I'm not 100% sure. So, But we there's been sad news today. Oh, there has. The sad oh. news. I mean, again, we're going to be dating these videos. But you know what? This has become a regular topic of conversation in these videos, unfortunately. It's not one I'd like to become a regular topic of conversation. But it just mm. seems like every time it happens... It it seems to be when we're when we're playing prison architect. He, he Maybe, had a oh my god, are we cursed? And he are had cursed? beautiful skin. Every time we play prison architect, it seems that somebody dies. Oh god! Do we do we have a power that we're not, we're unaware of? Is this like the new death note? Is, is of yeah, maybe. It's it's prison architect note or or something. Mm. Uh, <laughs> I'm not 100 percent sure. I we should mm, we should be careful. I think mm. uh, who, who we talk about. I hope something doesn't happen to uh, Hacker Hacker T Dog. Hacker T Dog. Now that I've mentioned him, oh god, that would be that would be pretty gutting. Um, but yeah, anyway, get back to the sad news. Um, old old Chaz of yeah. of Chaz and Dave fame. Sad times. I think um, he was seventy four. I think maybe. maybe yeah, I, I think he was. Somewhere I think he was there. suffering from something, which is kind of sad. Like nobody, nobody should be suffering from anything really in a, in yeah. an ideal world. So, um, 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 was it esophageal cancer? I think maybe. I might be, I yeah, might be completely I, wrong by that. One of those, one of those pretty horrendous, you know. Oh, I've realised you've taken ideally... you've taken out the um, door in the top of my in the top of my dorm. Yeah, because um, because and it's um, now saying um, there are no canteens accessible by this cell. 
That's absolutely fine. People people will still get assigned to it because they're protective custody. Uh, um, what you what you should ideally do is probably build a tiny canteen down here somewhere, um, uh, and maybe we can put a staff only. Oh, in fact, you could, but that would mean feeding your prisoners. Um, mm. I don't know. I don't know if you really mm. want to do that. That's the thing. Uh, so. I don't know if I like them that much. Yeah, it's up to you. It's up to you. Uh, however you want to talk to your guys is totally fine by me. Um, I, I just, if you had that door there, then people were going to come walking in and out, basically. Regardless, like we, we made our little staff only. You remember the the airlock to stop people coming yes. in. Yes. So, but yeah, I, I think we need to honour um, Chaz of Chaz and Dave fame. Um, for those of you who who don't know who they are, kind of shame on you. But also, I mean, fair enough. It's it's oh somebody's died. Uh, yeah. It's it's slightly less relevant nowadays, obviously, because their 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 heyday was kind of. I think it's like. I don't know, what would you say? 70s? Late eighties. I think it was like seventies. Uh, yeah, probably 70s probably more like early eighties. Mm. Yeah. So, but yeah, they 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 made some wonderful wonderful music. Um, oh my god, there there is there is a bit of a fight going on. A bit of a fight. Um, it looks like two two gang members uh, of the Eagle Face Clan. I don't know who they are. Let's have a little look. Can we see? Um, gang member, they belong to a gang. There, there are ways of finding out about the gangs in your prison. Here we go, gangs. What have we got? We got the um, I don't know the the eagle faces, the skull faces, and the what the fuck are those faces? Basically, in our nice. prison, those are the three gangs that we've got: um, red, red, green, and blue. So it looks like the blues are kicking off in the yard. Basically, they're they're, they're starting a big fight with um, some of the guards. They are. Oh, Oh, it's all over. They, um, they basically, they, I think they were working out, right? The adrenaline kicked in. They decided to murder Felix Jones. He was sentenced to 12 years for robbery. He was a stoical ex-law snitch. So I'm not surprised he got murdered, I'll be honest. Yep. Snitches um, get stitches. Snitches do get stitches. Oh, this is a good point, actually. TKO raised a, a good idea. Yeah. We should, um, we should make a, a cell for, for you somewhere. Ah. Yeah. Like like a little personal private cell that we can put you in. Um, um, I need to try and find me because I've now I've updated my. Um... Oh, I can. I can see you. me. I found me. I'm here. There you go. Yep, that's exactly I, where I you are. Um, so what we okay? Let's do let's do this now. What we want to do right is build like a little, a little luxurious area for for you know old Kitch to live in. Um, yes. I think the Lord we could put it exactly where where could we put it. I don't want to put it in a yard because the yard's getting pretty full already. Hmm. Um, I don't know. Maybe we could actually. What if we built like a little foundation? Because ideally, well, you, you want to keep him just, on lockdown. If we, just, if we just took this corner here, this yeah, um, it would make it would kind of thin out the yard a little bit, wouldn't it? Okay. Um, we could. Hmm. I reckon. I reckon maybe just like build a little. Some something somewhere. I don't know. I don't know. We'll we'll put something down somewhere. Maybe maybe just in this this bit next oh, to the yeah, kitchen, that, perhaps work. down here. Yeah. Like uh, we we could just have build a little, you like a little a, serving hatch through to the kitchen, just feeding me food. And... There you go. So you can you can have that block that I've just put Beautiful. down. Um, that will be for you to put yourself into. What you'll need to do though is build a massive cell basically, hmm. uh, and put yourself on permanent lockdown. But then you can fill that cell with all of the goodies that you want, um, and we'll assign you to that cell, and you'll you'll be stuck in there, um, and you won't be able to do anything. That's well, there is a lot of bloodshed that's happened. Um, it it looks like we're going to lose Matt Matt Gould and uh, Mark Cleef. Mark Cleef is of the what the fuck is that face uh, clan. Um, I, I, I think Matt Gale was probably uh, probably just like a random bystander who happened to be in the wrong place. Unfortunately, but you know what? This is this is the perils of building a prison that has no no real deployment in it. If you know mm. what I mean, um, and that was kind of half the fun that we were going for, isn't it? That's why we turned off the fail conditions so we could have all of this shit happening and enjoy it. Yeah. It's so it's, it's, it's anyway, um, talking the talking old laundry room spilled. Talking, I was going to say just talking about people fighting and getting angry. I did see something funny in the news um, today. Shouldn't really laugh at it because okay. I bet the guy's gutted. But it, it just something that just just tickled me just. For the pure irony of it, it was um, a Scottish guy. I think his name was uh, Duncan Hutchinson. He was nice. he built a beautiful hand-built wooden rowing boat, 
and he was going to try and... Why did he so- build a boat? It, it was he, he wanted to solo row from New York back to Scotland, just to kind of go across the Atlantic. And he was doing really well. He's been at sea for about three months. It was just over 100 days, I think. <clears throat> and then he encountered some big ra- big waves and rough rough storm, stormy weather. <clears throat> Ended up calling the coast guard and saying, "Cause somebody come out, come out and help me, cause I'm getting a bit, a bit out of my depth." A, a tanker came and picked him up, brought him on board their boat, kind of tied tied his little rowboat to the back of the ship, and sailed him back to New York. Just when he oh, reached the, no. when he was just off the coast of Land's End, so he made it from New York near enough to Land's End, and then got towed all the way back to New oh. York. Dude, that is painful. <laughs> and I just thought, you don't want just that. so cruel, but it just made me giggle. Oh. After so much time, like how? I, I, to be fair, like his arms must be fucking trees by now. Yeah. Like uh, after doing all of that rowing and stuff, you you would be the henchiest guy in the world. You you'd be like Popeye, basically. He, yep. he must have Popeye arms. That's what I'm saying here. He's got Popeye arms. But no oh, shit. What a what a fucking poor bit of luck for him yeah, like, do you reckon he just like got probably got on the ship just like conked out just like oh bed I can lie down and just chill yeah. out for once uh, woke up and was like where am I and, and <laughs> this is not my boat yeah. I am not the captain of this like, ship it's either that or he's got on the boat they've told him where they're going and he's just like you know what I've, I'm done <laughs> <laughs> It's like I can't go back in the water. I, I have to now go the power back just to dropped you. Out. Oh shit! You know what it is? It was me connecting all these freaking laundry machines. Oh dear. Okay, let's find out. Let's find out what crazy stuff is going to happen in the in the interim while I just finish putting down this this wonderful desk that is actually completely unnecessary. I just for some reason I like putting down like a little reception area. Is it um, in the infirmary? Is it so what when people come in? Go on. Um, beneath the laundry room. Maybe just make a little, no, maybe maybe a little just room down here, of just sticking a an extra uh, generator in and putting the laundry and the heavy utilities on a separate circuit. Almost definitely, almost definitely. Um, I you do like generally when you're doing this. Oh God, this is jerky. Uh, generally, when you're making you know prisons in this game, you do set things up so that you can have. Multiple, uh, multiple electric circuits, because mm. otherwise this this does happen. Unfortunately, uh, I'm going to get concrete building down on here, so we'll extend it down, you know, as far as the staff room goes. I think it's probably a sensible idea, and we'll speed things up. Let's go and have a little look at the prison, though. Can you keep an eye on that that foundation um, with the with the power generation and stuff? I'm just going to have uh, a look yeah, around. So I'll, I'll, have, I'll see get a building. See what kind of stuff is going on. We've got a guy who's overdosed. Who's who's this? Who who is it? guy called Drummer. He's, he's OD'd in the darkness. Um, I guess he just couldn't take it. Like He was like, my heart is so dark. My, my memory and my soul is dark. And now the lights are off. It's really fucking dark anyway. And he just topped himself. Uh, he's alright though. He's gone to, gone to the infirmary. They've given him, given him an adrenaline shot, I guess. He's only in here for like another month. Not even that. <laughs> and he was like, you know what? I just, I can't, I can't take it. He's addicted to cocaine apparently. Oh, poor dude. Cocaine. That must I suck don't think being addicted to cocaine and being in prison. Although I imagine, yeah, I imagine it's I, something quite readily available. Yeah, I don't think he was addicted to cocaine before he came in here. I'm just putting that out hmm. there. Um, it, I, I get the feeling the addiction to cocaine is actually something that's happened since he came to this prison. We might be lit being a little bit too lapse on the old um, on the old drug policies. Maybe we might have to we might have to up up some of those punishments a little bit.